Cyprus. This episode of Two Guys Who Die, recorded live Wednesday, 17 July, 2013. Episode 74, live from Grand Cayman. Well, welcome once again to another exciting episode of Two Guys Who Dive, and you'll see that uh, I'm your host, Rob Wade, but I do not have Scuba Bob, a.k.a. Robert Garza, here with me. I'm joined by our producer and my lovely wife, Tara, and introduce yourself to our fine audience. My name is Trisha Urban. My name is Gay Culbertson. And we are having a great time on a little dive vacation here in Grand Cayman. We are uh, shooting this from our... Uh, our spacious villa on back the uh, balcony overlooking the beach at Compass Point and uh, Ocean Encounters, which is on the east end of Grand Cayman Island. I uh, wish I could actually have set things up where you could see the ocean in the background, but unfortunately because of the, the size of the balcony here, couldn't uh, turn things around and backlighting and all this technical jargon that I'm not going to bore you with. but makes it a challenge. So we wanted to knock out a, a quick episode here so uh, you could um, share a little bit in the excitement and fun that we've had. So, uh, Gay, what are your impressions since this was your first ever salt water dive? Yes, and it is everything people to say it is. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I, you taught me how to dive. Uh, I've been in Lake Amistad and a couple of rivers, and uh, that's nothing. <laughs> uh, this has spoiled me forever. The, the, the scenery, the beauty, the fish, the, the uh, different uh, forms of uh, uh, coral out there is just incredible. Wow. Okay, so did you have any, um, any uh, anxiety or anticipation? Do you have, any, had, have anything as you went for that first dive? Well, the, the first time, yes, when you step off the boat, because you could see 100 or so feet down there, you could see... I knew there was a bottom down there, but I knew I had air in my BC, so I right. knew that I would float. It didn't, nothing after that. I thought the night dive might uh, uh, bother me uh, because it did at Amistad when we went down to where you couldn't see anymore. Right. It was too dark, but it didn't hear. I was uh, didn't have any problems with it, and the night dive was gorgeous. Oh, yeah, it was. It was uh, definitely a, a great event. We have some footage that we'll probably show on a later podcast because it's pretty extensive. Uh, of, uh, of a lot of the things that we yeah. saw, but we ha had a good shot of a really small octopus, and we got to see it crawl along the the, the coral reef and change colors as yeah. it went, but that was pretty awesome. Well, Trisha, this uh, is not your first trip here. No, I have been to the Cayman Islands several times, and, uh, and this is my most favorite place in the whole Caribbean <laughs> to come. Uh, the, the water is gorgeous. The, you're not fighting currents. Uh, it's it's just it's fabulous. It's fabulous. So I see you have. Uh, yes, I brought I brought my little monkey with me. This is Spanky, <laughs> and Spanky uh, he goes camping and hiking, and now he's gone scuba diving. He lost oh his arm to a shark. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold, hold my little. We, we were iron lucky. Drink. They got him. Yeah, he he lost an arm today, but he's gonna survive. And we wanted to bring this cute little. Uh, poster it says, I am not lost. I am you in. You have to hold it up so the camera can see. I am in paradise. So let's see. There Woo! we go. Yeah. Woo! Awesome. So we have this hanging on our door so that people know that Texans are, are the best. We know how to enjoy this. <laughs> That's right. right. Now I have to say the, uh, the, uh, the trip has been, um, we've been looking forward to this trip for quite some time. Right. We've talked about it on the podcast and then of course we've all talked about it. Uh, Tara, what are your thoughts so far? Oh, I'm loving it. It's great. It's, the, the diving is wonderful. Um, the resort is great mm -hmm. because everything is there for you. I enjoy knowing that when we get out of bed, we roll out of bed, walk over to the dock, get on the boat, everything is set up. Everything's done. There's no heavy lugging. Exactly. Um, yep. Not that I would do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But Chivalry is not dead. That being said, 
Um, it's nice to know that all that is being taken care of. They rinse out all the gear. Um, I just don't have any complaints about the resort and the, the Ocean Encounters, the dive uh, company that we're with. Ocean Frontiers. Or yeah. Ocean Frontiers. Ocean I'm Frontiers. Sorry. Now, and I, I've got to say, hats off to the folks here at Compass Point and Ocean yeah. Frontiers. Yes. They, the uh, the valet diving is exactly exactly yes. the kind of trip yes. you want, especially right. if you want everything taken care of. There are really no worries here. You don't have to, as Tara said, you don't have to lug anything out. It was great. You just you show up that first day, and you just put all your gear out. They have they have baskets outside your door, with your tab with a tab right. with your name on it and everything, and then you just put it all in there, and then they take it out to the boat, so you don't have to carry anything even from that first day. I mean, we don't bring our wetsuits. We don't bring our skins back up the booties. Right. They take them. They take them off the boat in our individual basket. They rinse them out. They hang them up. The next morning. We get up, we brush our teeth, we have our cereal, we drink a little water, and we go down and jump on the boat. Absolutely. We stick our arms in our BC and we jump in the water. So it's, uh, you know, this is valet diving, and this is the best. It's it's really wonderful. Yeah, it's it really is. Great. It's fantastic. I, I just can't say enough good things about the folks here. The the dive masters, boat captains are awesome. Yeah. They really take care of you. They pay attention, but they. But they know how to have a good time. Yeah, right. They they'll kid around with you. Yep. You know they can trade a, loo, a few oh, little yeah. barbs here and there. <laughs> they can take a joke and they yeah. can dole them out, which is good. Yes. And something else that's nice is they have a a great big board that they have yes. on the boat, and they get they tell white you the board. dive a whiteboard, and they give you the dive profile. They say we're going to go down this deep, we're going to circle around this coral head, and they have it all drawn out so you know exactly where you're going right and you can go guided or, or non-guided we have been following the, yeah. the dive pretty much yeah they know where the good stuff is yeah they know where the fun and they, stuff they'll is. tell you uh they'll bring you back to another boat and show you where the boat is and then they'll leave and you're on your own and you can do whatever you want for the just next right in the 15 boat or 20 minutes area because right. right. yeah. you know where the boat is right and uh there's so many different wonderful places to you know dive spots to that they take you mm -hmm. um uh, you know, they'll, they'll typically have been taking us out to a, a pretty deep wall dive. They have a maximum that they'll let you go at, at 100 feet. And uh, so you get a deep dive there. And so you can, and I love wall dives. Anybody who's, you know, seen the podcast before, I'm always remarking about my favorite thing is, is wall dives. But uh, especially at Lake Amistad. Um, but then the, sh the second dive is typically a shallower, mm -hmm. uh, 50 feet or shallower. And... Uh, they've been doing a number of the swim throughs, which we oh, really, yeah. oh, really enjoy. And some of them get a little small, so you've yeah. got to, you know, you've you've got to be practiced and up on your yeah. buoyancy, so Absolutely. that you're not hitting the coral or, or dragging on the bottom. And you know, they're real conscientious. They make sure that our computers are not hanging down low, but they're attached to us. Right. That we're nice and tight, so that not we're not tearing up any uh, of the coral. <gasps> Tell the folks about the lionfish. This is so cool. <laughs> well, they uh, well, we've talked a number of times on the podcast before about how lionfish have totally invaded the Caribbean. They're not native to this this part of the world, but uh, there's a concerted effort throughout the Caribbean to try to curb the lionfish population. And so there are a number of sanctioned hunts, and uh, the the folks here actually are actively engaged in going out and trying to reduce the numbers. But then you also see uh, a slowly growing market for lionfish. Yep. And we got to try, yesterday, we got yeah. to try uh, our first lionfish. It was wonderful. Yep. Yeah. It was. Very uh, good. I'm not a ceviche, very uh, I'm not a, a fan of ceviche typically, but I had to try this out because I was bound and determined to have some lionfish. Yep. And I gotta say it was wonderful. It was good. I, yeah, I loved it. Very good. And, and also the, just the atmosphere where we where we lunched. Uh, we were out on a, a patio, uh, shaded. There were a bunch of uh, flip flops hammered to a, a, a tree. tree. Um, yeah. a beautiful the, ocean. There were tarpon down below us swimming and hoping that we'd throw them a piece of bread. Uh, the the sun was shining. It was. Yeah, you know, and here we it were eating lionfish. Yeah, I like that outdoor. Yeah, out in the middle of it, right oh, yeah. there by the ocean, the wind. Well, I like that. Well, hopefully, too. someone will develop a market for lionfish uh, because it tastes good, and it, it's easy to to get. 
uh, and it's it's dangerous. Might as well get rid of. Them. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, do, do they eat up the coral, or, or why well, are they no, dangerous? Well, what it is is they don't have any natural predators here. So they eat. Whatever. They but they are voracious eaters. They eat all the smaller fish. So they basically take a big chunk out of the right. smaller part of the food chain. Oh. So that means that the other fish that are normally feeding on those levels right. of, in the hierarchy uh, have less to eat. Have less to eat will die off. Eventually. Exactly. So that becomes a serious problem here. So they're trying to, to uh, do something, anything they can to curb that. Now, unfortunately, what you have, uh, what they've run into, we were talking to some of the guys today, um, a number of folks from various countries, you know, they don't, they're not, they don't live around this environment. They're not from the Caribbean. And they come in and they see uh, the various dive operators, di uh, local divers, going out and just, you know, spearing uh, the lionfish. And they get all sorts of upset, you know. Fortunately, that, see, that's the thing about getting wrapped up in, in ecology to the point and being so uh, hard over about, you know, what I call a tree hugger where you don't know all the facts and then you make jump to a conclusion that is an incorrect one. Right. In this case, you know, they see what they feel is yes. uh, uh, a cold-hearted, just massacring of these fish right. that are beautiful. I mean, let's let's face it, oh, they, are. they are very beautiful fish, but unfortunately they are very destructive fish. They are not native here, and that's what happens when humans, in our ability to bring species from places that they normally aren't to places, uh, from where they normally are to places they normally aren't, right. and that we have something like an uh, aquarium get destroyed in Miami that introduces lionfish to the Caribbean they're like wow this is great we have no natural predators and we have plenty of food so yeah. they and they 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 multiply spawn and, and multiply so breeders. quickly yes. and so unfortunately you get these people coming in and say oh it's just evil that you're you know you're they see spearing all the these slaughter fish. of this species. this beautiful right. fish i'm like they're beautiful but they're they're not native here and this they don't have any natural predators so they're, they're not in any danger of being extinct right no yeah so exactly because they exist elsewhere yeah. yes exactly so products. so you know we what happens is um making some adjustments here what happens is unfortunately that means that uh that the local divers here have to do extraordinary things to help curb the the population, and they right. have to do it while basically while uh, non-locals are here. Yeah. They you know they don't want to hear the complaints of you know people from Canada and the United States mm -hmm. and Great Britain and everywhere else coming in and saying you know wagging their finger at them. So they have to do it outside of it. Right. Whereas unfortunately. It'd be great if they could do it. Uh, what they originally were doing is they would be out with a they one of their their right. dive masters would have a spear with them and uh, when they dive with the customers. Mm -hmm. And if they saw an opportunity to reduce the population of the lionfish, right. they would do right. it. Yeah. Well, now they can't do that, so that creates a a limited right. opportunity for them to do limited hunts. Yeah, limited yes. hunts, and and that means it's uh, harder for them to keep control of the population now. I have to say, we've been diving in Curacao and Cozumel, and lionfish populations there are huge. Yes. Wow. Just everywhere you turn, you saw lionfish. Um, but here, we haven't yeah. really seen that no, many. No, a couple no. of days, a couple handful. of dive, yeah. yeah. And, and real small. But they've, yeah. been, they've been very... Well, that uh, one was pretty good size. Yeah, one was yeah. very big. They've been very good at killing them. They do have a dive where you go on, and you don't kill them, they do. Yeah, uh, but it's then like after the you, you become like a what they call a spotter. You're a spotter, yeah. And and you get as many as you can in your time limit for the dive, and then you come back and you someone, oh, they clean someone cleans them and you cook them and eat them, and they're very very tasty. They are. Um, Quite. We, they were uh, one of the dive masters was telling us today that the groupers, no, there's no natural enemy. Right. But the groupers love to eat them, but they won't kill them. So no. they they act as bird dogs. <laughs> they will find out if you're down there hunting, dog. and they'll go and and oh, find awesome. find uh, a lionfish for you, and you kill it, and they eat it. But they won't kill it. <laughs> uh, no, before it's all over, they're going to require you know tags and licenses yeah, for them. Right. You, know, yeah. like, you must keep your grouper leash. That's right. <laughs> you must yes. have a uh, leash lost for groupers. Yes, have a permit. <laughs> uh, they are they have are your grouper spayed or neutered. That's right. right. Uh, so it, not everybody. We can't just walk off from the yeah. shore and, and kill them. Yeah. 
Well, I guess there's no, there's no law against yeah. it, but I guess we could. But right. Uh, right. you don't do that. You go in a, in a, hundred, a, a, a group. Yeah. Well, uh, let's throw up some of the pictures that we've got, that we've taken. This is just merely a small oh, yeah. selection of the pictures that we've taken. Oh yeah, you can talk uh, over the pictures. That's okay, nice. good. Uh, the, the the colors down here is incredible. Like this is my first time. I've seen Trisha's photos, Rob's photos, and videos, and we looked at lots of videos of dives down here. Trish kept telling me, "Oh, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it." Oh, I do. <laughs> the yeah. colors are amazing. There's nothing like actually being. Yeah, that's doesn't right. compare that's to. Right. No matter how good we could, you know, maybe videos take these pictures videos. or videos, great, it just right. doesn't compare. Right. And the visibility. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you can yeah. see here. This is Trish off in the distance there. She she's is a uh, slower descender because she has uh, a slower equalization in her ears, so she has to take it easy, and that's fine. You know, the visibility here is so good, yeah. can you, can, you can follow everybody with no problem. Right. They see things from the surface, and here we're almost 50 feet down, and we can see you mm -hmm. yeah. so clearly. Yeah. yeah. Not a problem at all. That's the beauty here. There's Gay, and we were. Yeah. This is one of the wall dives, so he was kind of cruising up over the wall. Uh, the abyss is wonderful. It is just uh, great. Rob and I both are and drooling I'm because we want to go down. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And you can't. You can't. No, you can't. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> that will be the last thing I'll you ever do. I'll start rattling my shaker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Up, Unless up. your insurance is paid up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm listed. Yeah. Now, right. this was a shot off of one of the uh, mooring funny. balls. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, they, they, back in the day when they would come out, um, they'd have to drop anchor. Well, obviously, if you're not careful, you drop anchor on a coral reef and you could destroy it. Especially if you got pretty pounding waves, mm -hmm. and the boat could start yanking the anchor and tear up the mm -hmm. the reef. So uh, eventually, over time, what they've done is all these favorite dive sites. They've actually gone down with divers and permanent, permanently placed in either already dead coral areas or uh, in the sand. In the sand. They've yeah. actually placed mooring uh, posts or, or rings, and then they have ropes. Uh, running up to what they call a mooring ball, which is basically a buoy, a huge buoy, that everybody can moor to. So you just clip onto that. So they'll pull up with the boat, and they have one of the crew members with a big hook that just reaches out and grabs the rope, and then uh, they're able to tie up, tie up to that. And then everybody just typically, they direct you to follow the, the mooring line down, mm -hmm. and everybody meets at the bottom. And then once the dive master is sure that everybody's good to go, uh, you start head off on a guided yeah. dive, and uh, so this is where we were gathering on one of them. And it's my understanding that Ocean Frontiers has been uh, very instrumental in putting a lot of these buoys out uh, along this east yeah. eastern side right. of Cayman. Yeah, because they they kind of are were the the only thing out here yeah, in this part of the island for the longest first time. People, yeah, they, yeah. So they, they and they picked a great spot because yeah. there's a number of great reefs out yeah. here. They have an awesome setup. Uh, here is a picture off of one of the ma uh, off of the walls. Uh, again, just showing you the deep blue. I mean, you look, yeah. you follow along the wall, and it goes further than you can see, and then you just turn away from the wall, and you see just, just deep blue. Yeah. It's beautiful. There's Tara got a shot of me out in the blue. I tell you, if you have issues with vertigo or fear of letting go of your training wheels you know you have to be right. where you can see bottom or grab a hold of a rail or something this is not the kind of diving this is not for, for you, you. <laughs> this is and, not your and kind. that surprises me because I'm you know I'm afraid of heights right you know but it's different underwater because it's like it's just different. Right. Well, you've had the best well, instructor in the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, when you when you fall, you're not going to splat. Right. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I really, true, I, I, I find it hard to come up to a glass wall in a building right. and look and down. Look down. Oh, right. You yes. know, it's right. just, you know, well, it my, frightens me. But for some reason, I just, thought I would be afraid when we first went over the deep area because when I went out to the lake, 
I was scared going down deep. Mm -hmm. And it was dark. I couldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, That's here it would be a little battle. clear. And I'll yeah. see. And it didn't bother me because I could cute. see things. Right. right. Now, if I turned around, it would be all blue. Right. But then if I turned around, there's the reef or the wall yeah. right there or other yeah. people. Right. Uh, so it's not you, as scary. You get your equilibrium. Right. Keep your right. Equilibrium. And your buoyancy. As long yeah. as you, yeah. right. you understand exactly. the buoyancy and you yeah. control that so you don't go up and down your ascent, yeah. yeah they were right. they were pretty uh religious about keeping people they to were. that hundred i like that though because i noticed yeah. there were a couple oh, of people oh they were down who were not, the yeah. we were at almost 100 yes. and i was yes. like they are at least yeah. 20 feet below us uh -huh. yeah. you know at least you know from yeah. Right. And it was the same underwater. stuff they were looking at that we could see up higher. So right. There wasn't any reason, yeah. special thing for But you coast. see the draw of one oh, to go yes. deeper. It oh, just yeah, it, yeah. It sucks you in. That's it makes right. you want yes. to go deeper. Uh -huh. So I can understand why tech divers. Yes. And oh, also, yeah. if you're fiddling with your camera, yeah, like uh, you know, <laughs> you, you can sink a little bit and, and you think you're... Yeah, you don't you don't realize you're sinking. Ninety-five feet. Yeah. The looking. next thing you're at yes. hundred and two. Right. right. So right. Uh, before you know it, you know, diving with that buddy who is watching mm -hmm. that depth. One person fiddling with the camera yeah. when adjustments right. need to be made. Exactly. And watching after each other yeah. and making sure that. Well, I saw you doing that with him. Yeah, like, we, okay, yeah. let's come up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. See you're the making camera. me nervous. Yeah. Come up. Yeah. So, but right. that's why it's important to have that right. buddy. Right. Yeah. Now, once you get into the shallower areas where the the tops of the where the coral reefs typically are, uh, you get to see a lot of uh, at least around here. You get to see a lot of these kinds of images, and uh, I've been learning a lot about our uh, new camera. So, uh, you know, some of the shots came out better than others, and you know, uh, Trish and I were talking about how uh, you can take. You want to take as many pictures as you can because out of 15 pictures, you might get two or three that actually yeah. come out. If you're lucky. Yeah, what what you're looking for. Um, you know, unless you're like a super professional photographer where you really, really know the Well, you're getting there. Uh, you're slow. Doing, <laughs> you know, when you first start taking underwater pictures, uh, people shoot a lot of uh, tails, a lot of fish tails. Yes. Because you're chasing the fish. and. And one objective is to drop down as low as you can, yeah. move in, stay still, give those fish a chance to adjust to you being there, and then start your shooting. And right. S sometimes they'll still run, but sometimes right. you get their eyeballs. And that's what you want. <laughs> so here was a shot of a couple of uh, little shrimp, right? Those were little shrimp? Uh, those little coral yeah, banded? Little yeah, little banded shrimp. You just kind of have to walk, and they just, it's funny, you got, these are tiny. I mean, it's, the picture doesn't do any justice no. yeah. to how tiny these things are. I mean, they're like spiders. I mean, uh -huh. they're that small. Yes. And so you have to really be in like the lookout because they're so, much, they're, yeah. they're so fine, yes. so thin. There's so much going on, it's easy to overlook the small. And right. this is not speed diving. Right. You, you may hover over a coral head. For five minutes, right. just looking going, for some, looking some, for right. things, yeah. and then all of a sudden, pop. Exactly. There's that, yeah. there's that there's eel. A there's, right. Oh, remember like, the eel we saw the other night? Oh, yeah. Yes. You'll have to come back and, and see uh, the videos of the eels we got at the night time. It was awesome. Now, this is what they call, you wouldn't even recognize this as an animal unless you knew what you were looking for. This is a flamingo tongue, although. Well, the, the, not the the coral right. itself. Right. The slug but if you see the, middle, the little yeah. white thing in the middle, which normally we see them, they're not flat, straight white like that. They're normally very decorated. Very, very um, they have a membrane. Yeah. Uh, but for some reason right now, the most of the ones that we saw were not colored. But uh, these are amazing little creatures. And you have to look for those because they look like just a growth right. mm -hmm. on There's coral. A snail or something on there. Or you think it's a shell that's just kind of caught on. Right. right. Now this little buddy oh. showed oh, up this afternoon. Yes. It was awesome. He came cruising around by us. I've got some video footage we'll hopefully show you here in just a little bit. He was a uh, little guy. Wasn't very big. If you saw the video footage that we had um, a few weeks ago of the pervy turtle uh, <laughs> that <right>. attacked uh, Tara, <laughs> that uh, it was actually the that turtle was actually a little bit bigger than this. Yeah. The we one saw, that attacked. 
Tara? Yes, yeah. And this one is a, was about the size of a pillow, would you say? Yeah, a small yeah. pillow. And we yeah, saw bigger pillow. ones on the boat. They were oh, in the yes. water as we were going to the dive site. Yes, having sex. That was yes, that's interesting. right. They, 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 and we interrupted them. Poor, poor, yes. poor guy. But this was a smaller <laughs> one, but he gave us a wonderful show. Oh, he, he did. did. Uh, staying this around. one was almost as friendly as the, uh -huh. the pervy turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Except I didn't get bit. Yeah, this That's time Terry right. did not get bit. And here's oh. a shot of one, the, the boat we've spent the most time on this the, week. The we were just Hawk, right? yes, we've been. Uh, this is just shot as you I jumped the off the back. They yeah. are quite quite large. Today out there. was actually much. It was much more swell. Yes, <laughs> uh, getting on the ladder is. Uh, by getting on a bronc horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get on it. Hold on. You got to time, time your steps. Time yeah. your steps. And, uh, right yeah. coming overhead. Yeah. Nice. And there's That's Trish and Gaze. Shot. They're working their way down. I, I love shots like this where you've got just the all blue behind uh, right. the bubbles. Uh -huh. yeah. The bubbles. And there's one of my lovely <laughs> wife, Tara, Isn't she cute sporting her, her pink, pink yes, which you got to add oh, to that. Yes, yesterday. she did. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Got new fins. Yes. And they worked out well. Pink fins by Scuba Pro. Mm -hmm. Recommended. Good stuff. And this is Trisha again. I love oh, silhouette I love shots yes. like this. And then the and way the, the bubbles, bubbles were coming oh, out. Oh, yeah. That looks real nice, yeah. Rob. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good job, man. <laughs> oh, look, my feet are together. I mean, right. My arms aren't struggling. <laughs> I love those kind of shots. This is a shot of th some of the swim throughs. This was a shot of the reef and, and some of the uh, divers coming. You could poke, you could see the divers through the swim through, cutting Those across. Those swim throughs uh, are love. amazing. They're your favorite. They, they are absolutely. Are my favorite. Some of them are, are. Aside from seeing the cool animals. Yes. Some of them are completely enclosed like a tunnel, but some right. of them open up in, in like a slot canyon. Yep. With you're very deep in it, and it's just a big narrow On crack either side, above you. Yeah. Uh, so what kind of fish are those? Life. Do you do you know what type no. those are? They're all over down there. Yeah, gosh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have, our, we don't have our fish perfect. identification chart with us. So. And oh, there there is a trumpet yeah. fish. We love yeah, those. That's a good shot. Mm -hmm. He stands right out. Yeah. Normally, you don't see them horizontal like that. You'll see them uh, floating vertical, vertical because they kind of disappear and in the amongst blend the in. yeah blend in with the the coral like the piece the coral the you see on the right yeah. Love those. So this is a good picture. I was yeah, very, really very pleased with picture. this. Now, what kind of those? Those are the. Um, is that Spanky? Yeah. You sitting on him? Spanky's having Spanky a fit. Spanky was now. making some noise. Well, here, I can't remember what these ones are. Those, he's going to go get the, the fish chart. Yeah, those were Where's everywhere. That helicopter again. Yeah, there's so many different fish that uh, you. you here know, we go. There, there's some that we're very familiar with. Swim throughs. Yes. Yeah, Swimming lovely. with the tarpon. He's yes. The These tarpon. things yes. are so oh. huge. If you're intimidated by big fish, yeah. this would not be a good place for you. They're, they're not afraid they of you. They're wonderful. What, so five docile. and six feet long? Yeah. yeah. Some of them. And they're Pretty not afraid long. of you, so you'll no. turn around no. and be right beside you. Exactly. And it, it does startle docile. you at first because yeah. there's something right there. And, of course, that's for me, my bigger first than yours. Time, but it's like what I think of is a shark. You know, but it's not. Yeah. It's like having a bunch of dogs. Yes, around you right. Know, that just nice docile And dogs. they're not afraid of you. They swim around. 
Uh, and a lot of these fish are like that. They'll, they'll come around you once they settle down, once they get over their fear of you appearing all of a sudden. Plus, divers come out here so yes. often yeah, that they're the typically not threatening, right. so they're used to diving. Right. They realize we are not in the food chain. Yes. And they are not well, in our they food don't, chain. They don't know Now, they these, this was a great it. swim through. This that is Tara awesome. you see ahead of me here. And up in the upper left of the picture, you see a huge oh, ball of the silver, silver sides. Mm -hmm. yes. Those were amazing because they, you know, they ball up, and you swim through the, and they'll hide in these swim throughs, and you go in there, and you literally can't see mm -hmm. anything. Right. For that them. Was absolutely. And amazing. they they flow along like liquid in the water. Yes. Uh, yeah, and they all flow together. They flow like together. Right. It's, it's amazing when you're when you're in one. Uh, crevice or, or canyon and you see them coming up out of another one because someone is over there and has chased them up right it's like spewing up out it's that beautiful was, that was awesome there's another one of the reefs here's Trisha one thing we haven't seen is seahorse no, no, we haven't. We haven't seen a seahorse yet. Which I really like. We need to work on that tomorrow. We we talked. This to was our, awesome. Oh, yeah. Yes. We got. Uh, we've oh, seen a number fish. of the big uh, blowfish down yeah. there. None of them were blown, but they were. No. <laughs> this one was a really good size one. So again, it's hard to tell from the picture, but this was a huge one. Mm -hmm. We were looking for hootie. Yeah. Yes, hootie. Yeah. Hootie to go with the There were a lot of them down there. Oh. And of course, the obligatory. Couple's picture. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. And we're back to the beginning. So that's the the tarpon. Get back to our live shot here and, and you, see if I can. You were too it. far to get a picture of the shark. Uh, well, the, I'll show the the little bit of snippet of video that I got of the mm -hmm. shark, but um, that was just too too quick a thing, yeah. and I was concentrating. Man, we're going to really crank up the exposure here. And we're just about running out of light here. Yeah. Uh, but let me see if I can get the video up. This may be kind of choppy for those of you watching. And we'll see. There we go. All right. Here we were. We were. Which uh, light? We can try it. Uh, I've kind of jumped ahead in the video because I took a lot, a lot of video uh, on this trip so far. And. This one was just one of those chants. I spun around, so I'm going to get it playing here. I was swinging around doing a 360, and I saw Tara, and then there I saw the shark. shark. And so dum, right dum, there, dum, dum, stupidly, I'm dum, signaling dum. to Tara trying to get her attention instead of trying to keep the camera on the shark. By the time I got her attention and I looked over and you see the shark disappearing over the reef. So, you know, I mean, we've seen some nerve sharks, but that was the first typical predatory shark that we've seen on these trip on this trip so far. I would be nice to see something a little bit later. You know, we got one more set of dives tomorrow, and then here is our shot, just one of the shots that we got of the uh, the turtle. We get that playing. Here. This was awesome because he just was in no hurry no, to get anywhere. Uh, and there were until he realized there were 15 right. people. Yeah. <laughs> no, right. not 15. There, well, were, like there were several of us around me, but he... There was gay. You see how close I mean, you could get right to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't very big. No, but he was cute. We well, just want to see a turtle, and so we got some. He, got, he runs into something. Yeah. Whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's like, where can I hide? Quick, where can I hide from these people? And, and yeah, we found out it was fascinating because somebody told us he goes up and gets air. Yes. yes. Comes down and can spend He's hours. Like, oh, nice. He sleeps. They take, yeah, they take one breath. breath yes. And then their body shuts down, and they... That to me is just amazing. They go to sleep. One of those creatures that lives equally under the water and right. Take it. If it has to have the air. Yeah. Nice video, Mr. Yeah, White. Nice I love video. that.
Now that was a hawksbill turtle. Is that what it was? Yes. Okay. Because he's got the brownish. Okay. And when you look at his bill, actually, it's marked. Yeah, it's got the little hook on it. It's a good shot of everybody. We notice that we're all we're spread out. We're not bumping into each other. Right. That's something that's nice down here is there's plenty of room. Nobody has to be on top of yeah. each other. And you can see far enough, so if you get away 50, 100 feet, you can still see your buddies and come back. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. You may be following a fish or something that you want to take a picture of and get a little ways away. Yeah, so, well, uh, it's not all diving here. No, We've had opportunity right. to kind of do some shopping. Explore the island. Got plenty of rum cake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of rum cake. <laughs> yeah. We did a uh, number of the obligatory we, tours. We, we went, went to the beach and saw some starfish. Oh, yes, we went to Starfish that Point. Fun. That was an interesting were, drive trying to find this yes. place. I have to admit, my, uh, my Lumia 920... <laughs> Here's My the plug. Nokia Lumia yeah. 920 there, has been plug. absolutely <laughs> yeah. indispensable yes. for the, uh, getting us around the island. The British lady is very nice. Yeah. It was appropriate yeah. because <laughs> Grand Cayman was formerly yes British colony. British yes. colony. Yes. So, right. so uh, it was appropriate that I had. We did try the surfer dude out yes. uh, for a little bit, and that got annoying. Kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah. but, but got uh, I gotta say, we the, did some shopping. Oh, we 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 uh, were heathens one day, and we went to where we went to. Hell. We went to hell. Yes, but we, we did. came back. We didn't like it. That's right. We, um, we've been to hell and back. Yes. It's <laughs> a, uh, there is actually a little town uh, at, at the east mm -hmm. end, northeast uh, end yep. of the island called Hell. Yes. And, it's a, uh, uh, you remember formation. what the story? You remember what the story was behind how it got its name? No. I don't one know. of the one of the governor it was like. Yeah, yeah the, the governor, governor was there hunting. Yeah. They, they were like uh, hunting birds or something. He had a shotgun, and he kept missing. <laughs> And he kept, kept saying, saying, oh, hell, yeah. oh, hell. <laughs> so the natives that were there named it, oh, hell. It's a giant rock formation that's oh, it's acid rain. Well, not acid rain, but acid that hundreds of thousands of years ago. It's really amazing. And the ocean has eroded it into funny shapes and So it's stuff. like this garden. Right, it's like a garden of, 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 of spiky rocks. Rock. rocks yeah. Yeah. It's on a, on a future podcast, we'll probably throw some pictures, yeah. uh, some more pictures in there. We're kind of uh, keeping a limited... Uh, podcast this time because I'm doing this all on a laptop right through a wireless signal so I have no idea lighting. what kind of what kind yeah. of uh, if we're getting through uh, or not yeah well we'll, we'll but it's see amazing. It's recording, the so. island is beautiful it's, it is they gorgeous. drive on the left hand side and Rob has yeah. done a wonderful job yes. of getting us around I, I've got uh, a couple of little missteps here, here but here, no they they, <laughs> they, they, they have serious. they have circles no down here all over the place between here and the main town there's probably a dozen roundabouts yes and you go around them, and you just keep going until you decide which exit you want to take. But Rob has been so good at taking the right exits. Um, or the left exits. Or the left exits. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, and we've seen no accidents or anything yet. We haven't had an accident right. yet. But the island is beautiful. There's a lot of neat things here. We've explored Absolutely. quite a bit of it. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go eat at a, at a local eatery, or mm -hmm. maybe Friday. At a local eatery we, we were told about that looks real nice and it's cheap. Yep. Um, yeah, the Probably prices are shopping. it's pretty expensive. Oh yeah, my gosh, I tell you. Yes. You uh, need to bring some serious moolah or yeah. have a seriously hefty uh, uh, bank account yes. to come down here. It was not Luckily there's a grocery store chain yes. here and we were able to buy groceries. We've been three times yes. already. But I tell you, I have never spent a hundred and ninety bucks and gotten so little <laughs> yes. for it. Oh yes, and the food, yeah. That was crazy. Um, that was crazy. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you come down here. Yeah, you, once. Yeah, yes, that's right. right. That's this right. is one of those things where you just uh, save up your money. It's still cheaper than eating out all By the time. Eating out is Belize. Yes. By yeah. Belize. <laughs> that's yes, what by Belize. Our next it. trip will be Belize. We have to try Belize because that's got to be less expensive. Yes. Do we want to give, uh, is there any way we can get the camera pan around to have a, a little ocean? I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do be? as the final. Final scene yes. before okay. we well, the credits lose all our nice lights. We'll show, people we'll show that I was like, this is yes. where we're at. We can get a little shot of the boats out here. Yeah. The dive boats. We'll so get one one last shot out. We have a wonderful there. shot from our balcony. Yes, and we, we can do. run some videos. We've got a little beach here. Uh, and there's a long line of uh, a wall out there, coral reef, that acts as a breaker so we don't get any big waves yeah. in here. It's really uh, nice. So it's very nice, uh huh? And it's very quiet. East End is very quiet. Yes. This is not the party side. It's not where the tourists Which usually go. Which is fine. Go, right. We like it. Although quiet. we did see a girl fight. 
Oh, we sure did. And yeah, outside did. a bar, and we bar sure did. Town. Yeah. <laughs> On the way between town and here, you go by a lot of bars. Yeah. Uh, and one of them we've been by several times is very popular, evidently. And we saw a girl fight <laughs> yeah, one night. Yeah, it was night. pretty yes. interesting. Probably over a guy. Uh, probably. Sure the guy, the, a guy the that guy probably wasn't worth it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But uh, so tomorrow we have our final two, yes, final two uh, guys. Know, it's kind of sad. Because we can't dive on Friday. Right. Uh, but we are. What, what do we have on top oh, yeah. of Friday? That's right. What are we going to do Friday? Uh, we're going you to Stingray know. City Friday. Yes. Where you go and you swim with stingrays. And we've already got our metal vests made. That's right. We will not end up like the crocodile. That's right. Now, they are tame because so many hundreds of tourists go there every day. They're so used to people. So they they teach you how to pet them if you want to touch them. Uh, And then you swim with them and snorkel with them. You don't go diving with them. It's not that deep. So we're going to experience that on Friday. That'll be fun. uh, Since we can't dive. And then, uh, unfortunately, Saturday, early Saturday, we have to Uh, get on the plane and fly back to the U.S. And we can't dive because... Oh, yeah. You got the... Well, uh, Patty teaches 12 hours uh, be the time that you have uh, to wait after diving before flying. But your dive computers typically and the Air Force will typically yes. hold you through yeah, the 24-hour run. So most of the places here will tim- simply say, say when when are you when right. are you flying out, and then they won't take you out. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you could probably get away with you a could shorter cheat going somewhere. Yeah, else. you so get a shore dive yeah. and do that. But well, yeah. We want to take a chance. We don't want to take a chance. We're all about safety. That's, yeah, right. that's right. We're all that's about right. safety. That's right. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Well, we're run a little bit over a half hour. Normally we run an hour show, but we're running out of light and we yeah. want to give you one shot of our yeah. view off the balcony here before we close out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out of frame okay. here and uh, undo the camera. And while he steps out of frame, I'm going to show you one more time that we are not lost, we are in paradise. <laughs> yes, this is paradise. paradise. Alright, so here is you have to tell me if I've got a good shot. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that looks boat. great. Yeah. See, look at that beautiful ocean. This is our view. I Pull it down just slightly, honey. Yeah. There you there go. You go. Then we got the beach there. See, we have okay. sand, and we have places to, to lay in the sand, the little chairs. lounge chairs. Tara and I went out there and took a nap this afternoon yeah, in the cool breeze. Right down there. There's yeah. a hammock. There are coconuts in these trees. Oh, yeah. And you can paint on the coconut and then... Put it at the front desk, and people can see that Rob and Tara and Gay and Trish from Del Rio have been to the Cayman Islands frontier. That's right. There are wonderful flowers on the trees, and some of them smell. We hadn't found which one smells yet, but it smells wonderful. So let's see if we can line this up one more Just time. Just a little bit. There you there go. There we right, go. Right there. That's good. All right. Yeah, so yeah. one last final parting shot oh, okay. as I move her. <laughs> set so yes. this has been our first international that's right. broadcast that's right. the, hopefully the so, first of many yeah hopefully yeah. so we hope you've enjoyed it uh, hopefully uh-huh. if you didn't get to see it live hopefully you're watching on YouTube yes it, we'll be lo- uploading this YouTube and as Robert soon as we, we get missed back you to- Yes. Yes. Robert, but not so much that we didn't go. Yeah, that's right. Wow. And until now, we hadn't really thought about you, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is true. Until, until we had to do the podcast. That's so. right. The credit thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and jump in and do some administrivia. Let's see. Well, let's see. We have okay. uh, basic open oh. water classes coming up 25th and through the 20, 22nd through the 25th of August. And. 26th to the 29th of September. So if you want to experience yes. this great adventure that we call scuba diving, uh, I will be your uh, willful instructor. And he was mine. And yeah. Very, very good. And I really enjoy. He still continues to teach me. I have and a good time. I, I, I love going with him. Uh, it's, he's, he's a wonderful teacher. So hopefully you'll sign up. You just visit our website or our Facebook page. Uh, and then we have one last Balmoray State Park trip uh, lined up for the, our Tara and I will have our anniversary that weekend, 16th to 18th right. of August. Uh, you can contact us via um, Skype. We have, uh, of course, Skype now integrates the messaging part of it, so it's not just video. So you can just look us up on Two Guys Who Dive, or you can hit us up on Facebook. Just look for Del Rio Dive Club, or our website, www.delriodiveclub.com. And, of course, if you'd like to send me an email, send it to robert.wade at setifox.net. That's C-E-T-I-F-O-X.net. Or you can follow me on Twitter. Just look for at Robert C-F-P. 
And uh, I think that pretty much finishes up yep, for this week as the light yep. wanes and we yes, see another sunset, sunset in Grand that's Cayman. That's right. We hope you uh, enjoyed uh, the podcast mm-hmm. and we hope you see uh, future podcasts. We'll, we'll be wrapping up some more. And do you, uh, you show your photos video. somewhere so people can see them? Uh, we well, what we typically will put some in the podcast, okay. and uh, we may set up uh, something as part of the Facebook page because okay. it's very easy to get right. to, to pictures there. And uh, so that pretty much finishes up. I'm Rob Wade, and I'm uh, signing off. And mm-hmm. wish Robert were here, but too bad, too so sad. It's yeah, such <laughs> to be you, Robert. So yeah, Robert, Robert <laughs> All right. yeah exactly. <laughs> So uh, we really, we really thank you for uh, visiting us, and we'll see you next time on another That's fantastic right. episode of Two Guys Who Die. Bye. 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 Oh, cool.